What is your strategy? What are you focused on uh, at the moment? Who are you targeting? Internet and consumer, healthcare, infotech, and clean tech. Uh, across these four areas, that, that's where we deploy our, our capital. Mm. Uh, the mix of the investments uh, change from time to time, but the, uh, the, the directions and, and the sectors have remained the same. And so far, that's worked pretty well, and we're not likely to change that going forward. Which of those areas really jump out to you now as the most exciting uh, sectors for potential investment? We, we had this phenomenal run on healthcare. And uh, starting with uh, devices to uh, targeted diagnostics and, and so on and so forth. And lately, we've spent quite a bit of energy on uh, uh, biotech, on uh, the more innovative uh, drug discovery uh, part of the, the healthcare investment. Uh, so that's one area we continue to be extremely excited about. And, uh, and we're likely to, uh, to, to continue that for it and in fact uh, add uh, additional manpower and effort to this area. You're not worried about bubbles? Because of the new listing rule change in Hong Kong, encouraging uh, pre-revenue and pre-profit uh, 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 pharmaceutical companies to go to Hong Kong for listing. Nowadays, you, you are going to see uh, companies talking about uh, their, uh, their imminent IPO, even when the company was just being formed. And with that type of frenzy, a lot of funds, a lot of money is pouring in to uh, the whole pharmaceutical and, and uh, biotech area. Hong Kong is not going to be able to sustain you know, 200, no revenue, no profit, just a business plan type of, uh, uh, of, of listings. So I think uh, some people will get burned. You've set up a fund for investing in U.S. healthcare. Where are the opportunities there? In the pharmaceutical area, unlike in, let's say, telecom equipment and whatnot, you just sell your stuff. But in the pharma area, you actually need to go through a local approval process. So having a strong and trusted local partner is very important for many of the U.S. firms. So, so that's one thesis that we're going with. These are not exactly you know, cross-border, you, know, people, uh, you have a subsidiary here and there, but more a collaboration between the U.S. pharmaceutical companies and the Chinese uh, the pharma companies that, that we have relationship with. So that's one strong thesis that we think would, could drive a lot of the deal flow for our first U.S. fund. How concerned are you about the moves in Washington to have greater oversight and greater scrutiny of foreign investment? in U.S. technology? Very concerned. That, that's one part that, that worries me a lot. Uh, for instance, we, we are an investor in an autonomous driving company. If this part of the uh, technology investing becomes politicized, yes, and, 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 and some of the rhetorics are politicizing this, oh, in the AI area, in the autonomous driving area, we tend to not care, but if the politicians start caring too much of it, uh, it, it could be worrisome. Uh, is there one missed investment opportunity that keeps you up at night? We looked at uh, uh, Didi for a couple of times, and, uh, and we, we passed and we missed that. Uh, mm. And I was uh, terribly wrong. 